Amidst the sound of ratchets and the faint smell of antifreeze, students in Stephen Bradshaw's class at Central Tech and Drumright are learning to take apart and puzzle together dirt bikes and other small engine transports. Power sports technology, the students learn about motorcycles and ATVs and side-by-sides. They'll, they will learn everything from safety to shop functions, like administrative-wise and stuff like that. Learn how to do, look up parts, and then they'll learn things about suspension theory, maintenance, engine overhaul, chassis, driveline, and transmissions, and then fuel systems, both fuel-injected and carbureted. If you like to learn how to do something hands-on, but you also are willing to learn the theory that goes behind that to understand what you're actually doing, then it's a good class for you. If you're just wanting to take stuff apart and put it back together, it's not really that kind of class. You need to understand what you're doing as you're taking things apart and putting them back together. It's not just, there's a broken part and fix it. You have to actually be able to understand and determine why that part failed. Because most of the time, it's not that part that actually caused the failure. There's something else related. Bradshaw says this shop is high tech. They use tablets out here in the shop to help them look at the diagrams and stuff for the parts and look up the service manuals and stuff like that online. Students have the opportunity to work on actual mechanical problems. We do have customers bring in, bring in their units and stuff to have some simple repairs done. Uh, we have quite a few people in, in the community that bring stuff for like tire and oil changes, maybe even like some just basic maintenance and stuff like that. Usually don't get into anything too dramatic when it's a customer's unit, but we do do a lot of the basic stuff, which is what they'll be starting out doing when they get a job. Richard Pierce is a student and says since he rides motorcycles, he needs to be able to repair them too. I didn't know what to expect when you took a cover off a motor, and now I can tell you almost every part of the engine and show you how to disassemble and reassemble and all hands-on. Hands-on really helps because I learned with reps pretty much. See how there's nothing there? Mm -hmm. Student Logan Davis says it's the hands-on aspect of class that helps him. I'm a hands-on learner. I have to do it if I'm going to understand it. The book is helpful because it kind of walks you through it, but I need to, I need to have actually do it with my own hands. Hands-on learning, that's fundamental to the job. You have to be pretty talented with your hands. There's quite a few things that you're taking apart and putting back together. For me, one of the skills I look at, I like to see if they're good at doing a puzzle. Because a lot of times you'll get something that's already apart and you'll have to figure out how to put it together. Maybe by just a picture or word instructions out of the book. You have to be able to pretty adapt it with your hands and do that kind of stuff. It's not like working on some of the bigger equipment and stuff. There's a lot of small spaces that you have to be able to get into and maybe not even be able to see what you're doing with your hand and, and do it. That in? Not quite. Small spaces for small hands which is perfect for Ashley Morris, who says she's wanted to be a motorcycle mechanic since she was a little girl. Working on them is fun. If it's not a girl's job, I mean, any girl can do any job. There's girls in construction. I know all kinds of people in all kinds of different work areas. And don't tell her she can't do it. I'll be like, watch me. I do it and I do it good. I know parts and I know things that most girls don't. <laughs> Pierce says the way Mr. Bradshaw teaches challenges students' skills. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better teacher because he's the coolest dude I've ever met. He'll show you how to do it, and most people, they'll tell you how to do it, and then they'll show you. He'll tell you how to do it and say, okay, when you get done, come get me. And then you get done, he'll look it over and call you in. So it's all on your own. It's just preparing you for the real world. Dylan Stackhouse says it makes learning fun when it's about something that interests you. It's a lot easier to succeed in something that you're, you can relate to and that you enjoy. Student Nick Forrester says the class is preparing him for his career. Learn something new every day and eventually when I get out of high school I'll have enough knowledge to put it into college and go into the workforce. Davis says for him it's all about an alternative in education. This class, I feel like, prepares me more for the future that I want to be in. This was my choice. It's part of my future that I want to do. If you like bikes or four-wheelers, this is the place to be. And if you want to work on them, I mean, that's, there's no better place. Hands-on learning for hands-on working in the high-performance world of power sports.